I'm on Rivière La Noire, Black River, and the plan is to do 150 Canadian click. We're gonna cross about 30 rapids from R1 to R4, two waterfalls. I've got almost no experiences in white water, so really the question is, why am I doing that? Thank you so much. If you had any doubt, it's raining. Today is a huge day for us. We're supposed to do 45K. I'm gonna go scout our R2 because the water level is higher and it's a pretty long one. So we're walking the shore to be able to have a good vantage point, figure out a line, see what's going on. I don't know. Home sweet home. This is a massive beach, guys. Well, we're gonna go in the woods. There's some nice, flat, and open ground. And uh, the fact that we did about 40K today, that's, uh, that's why we can afford to be on a, such a nice campsite. And look at that. Awesome. <laughs> yes. Wee, 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 wee. I love it. I love it. Check it out, okay. Gonna find a spot to pitch the bug shelter. Oh, I like it. I kinda wanna pitch it right here. I like it a lot. Let's do that, let's do that right now. Need to fix those two holes on my castle. Let's do that now. Go patch kit, and uh, it's gonna be a quick fix. Quick fix. Fixed. That's an R3, but a roller, and it pushes us down there. We're gonna go see. What's over there? But I think the lesson here, don't rush into things. Don't rush into decisions. You look at the line here, you've got one little thing up here. You're just river left of it. Come down, you hit this main hole, but you get a right, you see there's a ton. Hit that, reset your angle, right up straight for this, all the way down. Listening to our guide, we figured a line. We're gonna watch Mo do it first, then we're gonna track, try to mimic his line so we're gonna do it but first we're gonna show you i want to show you more the 
the first time I ever done an R3 rapid. And it went pretty well. That was pretty fun too. Mo with us. Mo is a guide with many years of experience. It's like, and like he says, you can buy gear, but you can't buy experience. He really told us where to look, what to look for, what will be the impact of the current and, and that type of wave. Let's see what the rest of the river has to teach me. Holy shit. I just did the stupidest thing ever. It was a massive mistake. Massive, massive mistake. Everything by the book for this to go well, but we were so we were so laser focused on our task, on the type of technique we'd be using. And this, this is running in my mind, and I'm like, crap, I need to go take a dump right now. So I went, dig a hole, did my thing, fill up the hole, but I took out my live jacket while I was doing that. Holy shit, I'm not even wearing my life jacket. I just did that without a life jacket. This is extremely dangerous and careless and stupid. And I want to share it with you guys because I don't want you to make that mistake because it's all it is. It, it wasn't on purpose. It's, a, it's an honest mistake, but a very dangerous one. I mean, I'm accountable for myself, definitely. But I like this guy. I should also be looking at him being like, do you have it? Yes, you have yours. Okay, Mo, you have it. You're good. We're all wearing helmets. Okay, we're good. You know, that type of thing should be second nature. Even though we studied the line, even though we thought we did everything properly, one stupid mistake happened. I forgot to wear my life jacket. This can happen. So make sure it doesn't happen to you, and I'll make sure it doesn't happen to me or to one of those guys, because I love those guys. Man, I got a sick feeling to my stomach, and I don't know if I can shake it off. I need to find a way to do it. I hope I do. I really do. So we slept at 4B over here. So we've got a massive R2, R4, a waterfall, shit, mean waterfall, R2, R2, R2 slash three. So obviously we're not gonna do the waterfall. So we're gonna keep a check and pass because consequences of falling and the water here are pretty bad. Got a pretty long day since we're supposed to do about 30K on the water plus many rapids and a couple of portage, so. Resilience is gonna be the <laughs> lesson to be learned here today. It's not every day that you gotta rappel down the canoe. Crazy day yesterday was the longest day I've ever done on the water. 41K total, massive rapids, hell portage. Man, I'm grateful. Like I'm super stoked that this happened because now I know I can do this stuff. Now I know for sure I got it in me to do this. So I got it in me to do other stuff. And now we got the 50-50 there. That's a massive rapid. So we're gonna play. We're gonna fool around in there. See what happened. 